Hi, my name is Kara Lee, and I use she or they pronouns. And I'm really excited to uh, meet you in person for our in-person statistics class. It'll be my first class back on campus. Maybe yours too, or maybe you've been on campus um, before. You will um, see me looking like this, the mask on, but um, in the videos you can see my whole face. So that's great. Um, and you'll be seeing me in a lot of videos throughout the term. So I want to give you an overview of what you can expect in this class, the type of class that it is, and um, make sure that it's going to work for your learning style, and um, some really important things to do before our first class meeting. Okay, so um, first I want to uh, show you this. So I want to show you our, how to get into our course. There's two ways. I've already logged in to my PCC. Um, one way is in the top bar, there's a computer icon, which is probably right behind my um, video. So you can click on that, or you can scroll down. On the left, there's a link right here called B2L Brightspace Login. So either way, you can use to get into what's called B2L or D2L Brightspace. This is our learning management system where all of our course content is housed. And when you go there, you should see one of these little squares for each class that you're taking. Okay, you can see I'm teaching two in spring term. And ours is this rain, kind of circular rainbow thing. Um, so um, it's not open to you yet, but it probably will be once I get this video made. So um, you can go ahead and click on that, and you will see a welcome announcement. Now this is where I'm going to put this video. You can see I have some previous videos there, but this is being updated. So I'm going to put one video with an overview, and then I'm going to put another one on how to access and get started in our MyOpen Math homework system. That's a free online homework system. Um, over on the right side, you can see me here too, and here is all my contact information. So if you have questions, you can email, you can call, you can text using this Google Voice. I just try to do texts during weekdays, 9 to 5-ish. Um, and you can email anytime though. If you ever want to hop on Zoom for my Zoom office hours, you can use this link. And I have my different office hours and locations here. So for spring term, I'll be Mondays 4 to 5. Oops, I need to adjust that. It's going to be Mondays 3 to 4 on Zoom. Tuesdays 11 to noon actually on campus in the library Southeast Campus Tutoring Center. And Wednesdays um, will be right after our class, so that will be in my office in, um, near our classroom, SCOM 214. Um, there's also some tutoring center info here. They're going to be open um, in person on all the campuses Monday and Tuesday, and then on Zoom all the campuses Wednesday and Thursday. So there are those four days. There's also an e-tutoring, I'll add this that has more evening and weekend hours. So I will add the e-tutoring. Um, it's a consortium of many uh, colleges that work together on that. So I'll add that link there too, part of it. Okay, so I want to show you a little bit about how to navigate this course. So this is the navigation bar at the top. This course home will always get you back to this page right here. If you click on little house, you'll go back outside to all your classes. Or if you click on these little squares, that will bring up a list of all your classes. So there's a couple ways to navigate there. Course Home will stay in our course. Um, content is where you're going to find all of the content that um, we'll be using for our class. So I'll go through that in just a minute. Um, discussions will have an introduction discussion and also a place where you can ask any questions online. I'll have an assignments tab. This is where you can get a shortcut to if you want to upload an assignment or, or check an assignment that you did. It's a shortcut there. Zoom is a link to, um, if you want to go to Zoom office hours, um, you can uh, also, you could go there from the homepage or you could get there from right here. My Open Math is that free um, online homework system I mentioned before. Come back to that in the next video. Textbook is a link to our free online textbook. And you can buy a paper copy. I suggest holding off on that. I find that most students don't use the book very much. So you might want to wait. Uh, it's about $15, so it's not um, terribly expensive. But 
it's still $15. So you might want to wait and try the online book a little bit, see if you think you might use it before you buy the paper copy. The bookstore is still shipping books to your house um, for this term. And then grades, I can't click on this because um, I'm not in student mode right now, but this is where you would go to see all your grades and also class progress. You see all your class progress. More, there's a class list which shows all of the students in the class in case you were working with someone in class and you wanted to email them. You can do it that way. There's also a help, uh, which is great. It has some other great things. Student help desk is great if you're having technical difficulties. I call the faculty help desk all the time. They're very supportive and helpful. Here's that online tutoring. I'll put a link on the main page and accessibility and some other right there. Okay, so first of all, let me take a step back here and explain what kind of course this is. Um, because we meet once a week and most stats classes meet twice a week. So I wrote in-person hybrid up here because it's sort of a hybrid half online, half web, and half in-person. So I figured some students might only want to come to campus once a week. And so um, the videos, the lectures will all be on video. So you'll be watching the videos, taking your notes, and then bring your notes to class. And we're going to work together on the hardest stuff um, during class. So I'll have activities, experiments, things to do with data that we'll work together on in class so I can help you. Instead of doing a lecture in class and then going home to do that by yourself, we're going to do the hardest part together. So it's also called a flipped class. A flipped class could meet twice a week or once a week. So the fact that it meets once a week doesn't mean it's less work. It just means it's a little more flexible for you, but you have a little more responsibility to do that extra part outside of class, okay? So think about whether that is gonna work for you. You know, really think about your learning style and um, if you feel like that makes sense for you. And if not, feel free to email me. I'd be happy to help you find another class if you're not sure or you wanna discuss it more, um, just let me know. I'd be happy to help with that. I wanna make sure you're in the right place. Um, and so to, to find all this stuff, you're going to go to content. And the first thing you're going to land on is this overview. And I like to start with um, Dr. David Blackwell, who's a famous statistician. And I also have a social justice theme to all my classes. And, um, you know, white voices have been primarily centered in math and statistics and science. And so I want to bring forward more diversity in um, in our materials. So Dr. David Blackwell is a great um, famous statistician. So you can read a little bit more about that. And then here is your table of contents on the left. Think of this as like just uh, like a checklist of things to go through in the class. So the first one is intro to online learning. This is the same in every shell. So you may or may not need to go through this if you've taken a lot of classes at PCC and you've used D2L, then it's probably um, not much new to you. But if it's brand new, if this is brand new, you might want to go through the D2L orientation. Um, this is technically not completely online learning, but it is a hybrid. So some of these things might be helpful to you. And then important uh, for our class is to start right here with course information. Welcome in many languages. And this is where you're going to find um, our introduction. I do have a land acknowledgement. Some more information about me. Here's our syllabus and our calendar. This shows you what we're going to do in class each week. Here's a link to get started. Um, set, get set your um, account up in My Open Math. Um, this is hidden, so you don't need to worry about that. Our tests will be online this term. And then here's a place to introduce yourself because we'll be interacting with each other both in class and online. And so we're going to do a little online discussion where each person gets to share some kind of image can be of yourself or of something that um, a hobby or something you like to do, anything that uh, says something about yourself. So you'll be um, writing a little introduction post and replying to two students. 
and then I also want to get to know more about you so this assignment will be private to me it's, I call it a mathography like a biography there's just a few questions here and um, you can upload this in this assignment folder so when I click on it, it's a little bit different because I'm not a student. Let me see if I can show you. I can show you this part in class too. You'll see a little upload box whenever there's an assignment. So we will still be doing our assignments, um, uploading our assignments, even though we're in person. Here you go. So now you can see there's a little upload button right there. And click on that, then you can choose a um, do something from your computer. Okay, the content. So that is our course information module. So I would say get a start on that before our first class, kind of peruse the syllabus and the calendar. Um, you don't have to have this all done before we meet. Um, the most important thing is to watch the videos for the first class because we're only going to meet 10 times. So I want to maximize that. We can't spend our whole first day on orientation. We have to get, get going on chapter one. So I want to show you this um, link right here. It's pages to print or buy from the Southeast Bookstore. So, and I also emailed this to you with the syllabus. So there's a packet that's it's kind of thick. Um, it has all the notes pages that you'll be writing on. They're the same pages that I'm writing on in the videos. So you don't have to write all the questions and the graphs and all that stuff. You just write your notes in there. So it has the notes pages. It has the activity pages we'll use in class. It has the homework assignments that you're gonna be writing out and uploading. And it has some midterm and final practice problems that we'll, we'll use in class too. Those are kind of more activity pages. Um, so um, I suggest if you're gonna buy it from the bookstore, please buy it right away so it has time to get to your house so you can use it to watch the videos. Um, or you can take this file right here or the one that's in, our, in your email and you can print it somewhere. If you have a printer at home, you can print as you go or print it all at once or you could take it somewhere to print it whatever uh, you like to do and here's a little table of contents in here so that first page you don't necessarily need but here you can see this is the first page of notes as video notes right there and the great thing about the one from the bookstore is it's going to be three hole punched you could just put it in a binder keep all the pages in order and um, it'd be a really good way stay organized oops go back to content okay so that's a really important thing is to get these pages printed or sent to you somehow and um, I'll be sending you a checklist by email too because I know it's kind of a lot resources has just a lot of different um, PCC resources and things like that so I'm not going to go over that right now but here's where you're gonna find those first videos. Okay, so module one, every week is a module. So um, every week is just kind of a chunk of content and it's gonna start with lecture and notes. So when I click on that, um, there's a little overview to start with of what we're gonna do. And here's where you find the videos. So if you prefer to print as you go, the, the notes pages are also in here. PDF, there's also a Word doc if you prefer to type. You can also write on plain paper. You don't have to print anything. Um, the filled in notes are here. Sometimes that's nice to have a reference to. If you're like, wait, how did she write that out? Um, it's these, these exact notes right here. So some of these videos were made by a teacher friend of mine, Julia Trude, and some of them are made by me. So, um, but we both use the same notes, so they're very, very similar. Um, so these are the videos to watch before our first class. The great thing about this flipped model is you can see on this little reader here, you can make it go faster, slower, you can pause it, you can, you know, please do write down any questions you have because we'll talk about all those things in class. And then bring your notes to class. 
and then we will then you'll be using the activity pages so bring those pages too. bring your activity pages and we will work on those together in class okay so you get the practice that's the most important thing and we're going to be in a computer lab so for a lot of this we'll be using real data and we'll be using um, computer tools to analyze it down below there's a lot of optional materials for this class so don't feel obligated to use these, but you can if you want to. So there's our textbook. There are slides that go with our textbook. And then there are often a bunch of other videos and other resources. I don't want this to be overwhelming, though. So if it's too much, just tune it out. Don't look at it. Um, because this is below this line is all completely optional. Okay. Some of this comes from a fully online class where people have put together tons and tons of resources uh, for this class. Okay, so that is the beginning of module one or week one where you'll watch the videos. And then I'm going to go back. Then you'll see our class activity. And this is some of the real data that we're going to use in class. But if I click on class activity, we also have, we'll be using this together in class, so I'll show you this again. You know, the, the data we're going to need, and then here's the worksheet again. So if you're a print-as-you-go person, you could print this out and bring it to class. Um, or if you want to do the Word, that might be a little tricky in class. Um, we will be in a computer lab, but um, I find it's paper's a little bit easier, but I'm willing to work with you, however, if you have a way that you want to do it. If you want to bring a laptop or tablet or something like that and then together we'll be going through this so I'll be showing you the key as we go so you can check your work and check with each other and then I'll be posting the key right here after class okay so I think that is everything I want to show you let me just double check so I don't forget something oops I clicked on table of contents wanted to click on module one. I'll mention this again in class, but um, when you're in class, you don't need to upload your class activity. It's only if you miss class, that's how you can make up those points um, by uploading your activity here. And then uh, each week, so after, this, treat this like a checklist. You go through these things in order. Um, after class, you would work on the online homework, and I'm gonna show you that in the next video. And then after that, what's next? After that, there's a graded problem set. So this is a front and back sheet or two pages um, where you'll write out your solution. Um, it's possible to type it if you want. There is a, a Word doc in here also. Um, but the pages are in your, in your packet to print. And then you'll scan them with a phone or scanner and upload it to D2L. And then one more thing uh, at the bottom, which is below my video recording thing. Let me move it down. There's a place to ask questions. Ask your questions for module one here. And this is a place you can um, ask any questions about the content. Um, any, especially getting started, you can ask, well, where do I find that? How do I do that? Um, you can also post these anonymously. So I will be checking those for questions. And then, of course, you can always email me for questions and ask in class. Okay, so that's an overview. And I think it might be helpful just to show you. Let me go back to the course information might be helpful to show you the course calendar because this um, has our weekly pattern that will go keep the same pattern every week midterm and final weeks will be a little different but for the most part once you get in this pattern it'll be really comfortable so um, before so think about the week going from Monday to the next Monday so before each class that we have on campus watch the lecture videos and take notes then on Wednesday during our class, bring your notes and we're going to work on the activities together. Okay, um, you know, attend office hours and tutoring as needed, post questions, get all your questions answered, all that. 
And then by the next Monday, you might do it sooner, but by the next Monday, you'll be um, finishing all your My Open Math online homework in that graded problem set. I have uh, windows here for our online exam, so I'll explain a little bit more about that as we get there. And then here's the calendar. So this also shows you exactly everything to do before our first class. Watch the intro videos in D2L, this video right here, um, and the next one about My Open Math. Read through the course info, syllabus, calendar, and then the most important thing, watching those lecture videos and bring your notes to class. And over here has the things that are due that week. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long, so, um, but it's here for you if you want to come back and watch it anytime. And I'm really excited to meet you in person. I know that um, a lot of people are nervous about statistics and it kind of has a bad rap. It's really daunting for a lot of people. So just want to reassure you that I think it's really, really fun and it's really doable. And the way I do it is I apply it to real life. And for people with a concrete learning style, that tends to be very effective. So I'm really excited, really looking forward to working with you. And um, let me know if you have any questions before class, and then I'll see you in class. Okay, see you in the next video.